Good day, dear friends of the Rim, and welcome to my RimWorld FAQ. Today's topic, what I want to talk about, is why I consider the assault rifle as the best vanilla weapon available in RimWorld. Um, first off, I want to uh, state that this is my subjective point of view. I don't deem myself uh, as capable of putting that completely uh, to a really objective point of view, but I'm trying to do my best at that and um, this video is going to be divided in two parts. First part will be the uh, theoretical evaluation of my uh, of my statement here. Why do I think that the assault rifle is the best vanilla weapon? And the second part will try to back up that theory with numbers. So uh, I made it this way so you can feel to feel free to switch off whenever you want when it gets too dull for you with the numbers, because I'm well aware of uh, the fact that some I, I sometimes don't like that as well. So I put it to the end so you can turn off if you're not getting interested if you're not interested anymore. So. Next up, I would be very, very grateful for some thumbs up or subscriptions to my channel if you want to support my work a little bit more directly. If not, just keep watching. That's the most important part. So, theoretical part about the assault rifle is here I get into the numbers a little bit. Um, about the assault rifle, there's nothing really special. The damage is pretty low. The accuracy is pretty good in all aspects but not too insane, like compared to other weapons, it's pretty average, above average in general, but pretty average. The only real special thing here is the range of 31, which is really high, and a pretty um, low uh, ratio between ranged cooldown and warm up. Um, I'm trying to explain a few of those things firsthand, if you're not that well aware about how uh, RimWorld works in general. Um, warm up and ranged cooldown is how long it takes to recover after firing this weapon. So this means I'm going to put this. I'm going to uh, show this a little bit more directly. I think it's always easier to understand things if you're showing it off. So we're going to put eggs here over to this wall because sadly we don't have any animals to try out. Toxic fallout decimated everything. So um, the assault rifle is having a warm up of one second and a ranged cooldown of 1.7 seconds. So warm up is this time, the time before uh, the time your colonists colonist takes to aim and shoot. And this, the uh, ranged cooldown is indicated, but it's a tiny little circle, barely visible at this point, which indicates how long it'll take until the cycle can restart, being able to aim again and shoot again. So this means you have to you always have to add those numbers uh, together if you want to know how uh, often your colonist will shoot while standing still. Like this will this means we're going to fight and we're going to shoot every two point seven seconds basically. Um, the first salvo will always be quicker because we're not suffering the range cooldown penalty, of course. But that's that. So. These numbers are really good and optimal numbers for pretty much every situation. Um, you're having such a high range, such a pretty good damage and spread and attack speed that you will be able to fend off pretty much every situation in the game with a few assault rifles. Of course, the assault rifle is not uh, the best choice for specialized jobs. Like if you want to go for some snipering job, the sniper rifle offers you a way higher range and even a higher damage at the cost of a way, way lower attack speed. If you want to have uh, automatic weapons with more destruction power, the heavy uh, no the uh, the minigun awaits, or uh, the uh, heavy SMG or is also a pretty solid choice in these fields, but. Apart from that, the um, assault rifle is all also available for you as an automatic weapon, being way stronger than the most uh, handheld weapons. I want to get here into the machine pistol just for a few quick glance here. Damage six. I just wanted to show that these little weapons here are having a way lower damage. Automatic weapons below the assault rifle have way le le uh, way less damage and are thus inferior to the assault rifle. So the only real contenders to the assault rifle are the uh, charge rifle, 
and possibly the charge lance if you want to put it to the test but apart from that no real weapon is comparable and the charge rifle is suffering from one direct uh, drawback which is quickly explained without going too deep into the numbers its range is only 26. This is really bad because if we compare that the assault rifle is having five cells more range. Why is that so bad? Uh, if we go at uh, this mini turret here, a mini turret has a range of 29. So this means with the assault rifle we're able to outrange a mini turret, which is, uh, well, I don't know, do I, or I just want to look, I have one on the map, which are uh, found quite often uh, in bandit camps. And sadly, I, I, here, item stashes or such are often guarded by uh, gun turrets and yeah, with a charge rifle you won't be outranging a gun turret. And that's why I think in a everyday situation you can't do anything wrong with arming your people with an assault rifle. If all the gibberish about weapons confuses you in the game and you just want to enjoy some nice space colony simulator, pick up assault rifles, equip everybody who's able to shoot with them, and you're going to be able to tackle most situations quite okay. Of course, you will be better off with uh, fighting off sieges with sniper rifles or going at uh, mechanoids with um, charge rifles which offer a better uh, armor penetration but in the everyday situation 12 people with assault rifles will beat up pretty much every danger opposing them there are only a few situations which are pretty much unbeatable with that and uh, in, most, in most of those scenarios you would prefer a doomsday rocket launcher or even a orbital strike anyways. So that's the end of my theoretical part and I think there's nothing much more to say. The assault rifle is, in the bottom line, a perfect optimal everyday situation weapon. That's just it. If you have a specialized jobs a specialized job you have to go for some other equipment but that's just that so in the next half of the video we will go into the uh, numbers a little bit more deeply after a sip of tea so if you're having if you're just believing me you can turn off now <laughs> but uh, I can also uh, prove my theories with a, with a little bit more numbers so I want to compare the assault rifle here now with its only real contenders a little bit more uh, comparison going into the charge rifle, also in the charge lance because it's one of the uh, most powerful weapons in the game. And uh, we're also going to look into these heavy SMGs and LMGs. I'm not going to consider shotguns anyway, because of their low range, they are already to be considered uh, as specialized equipment. And of course, there's the minigun. I'm going to compare all these. Okay, so. Let's start the comparison with having a quick glance again over the assault rifle uh, stats. I'm going to ignore the long range a little bit because, uh, well, the weapon's accuracy at a distance of 40 cells or more. Uh, sadly, this tooltip is a little bit confusing. So the medium range is accuracy of 25 cells and then 40 cells or more. So, dear game, what's with the range of 26 and... 39 i guess it falls on the long range so that's not too important that's only the outmost uh ring of range of the assault rifle so i'm going to focus mostly into these numbers we're going to look at the armor penetration but also on the warm-up and cooldown speeds okay okay so let's get into the heavy smg heavy smg has uh, a way better accuracy in the close range pretty comparable in the short range but falls already off brutally at the medium range but we don't have to uh, think about medium range too much because medium range is 25 cells the max range of this one is only 23 so we're not going to argue much about that one bullet does a little bit more damage than a bullet of the assault rifle featuring five percent no five percent two percent or yeah two percent more uh Armor penetration, nothing too special. The only real uh, plus on the heavy SMG is it is a little bit quicker than the uh, 
assault rifle. It's arguable if you want if this it makes it better than the assault rifle in close combat. Possibly the math would say yes, because more armor penetration, more accuracy, more firing speed, but it's... Oh, well. I like to use heavy SMGs as a substitution for assault rifles. <laughs> That's my personal use of heavy SMGs. They are labeled for me as a little as the little bit less uh, eff effective version of the assault rifle. So with the LMG, we're going to do a little quick work over. If we look at those Rangers, they're just heavily inferior. The times here are summing up to 3.6 seconds. Um, especially I want to uh, point out the high warm-up. It's one second on the assault rifle and 1.8 seconds on the LMG, making the LMG uh, to a pretty horrible choice. With only one good side on it, it's firing a whopping amount of six bullets. So, <laughs> well, the LMG shines in one situation especially. When you're fighting a very high amount of enemies and having no access to the minigun. Basically I consider the LMG as the worst uh, version of the minigun. Personally it's just my opinion. So let's go into the minigun <coughs> and uh, the accuracy of the minigun is a joke. Seriously it's a joke. The only real good thing about it is it fires friggin 25 bullets so who cares about accuracy anyways. Um, Technically, the damage output of the minigun is way higher than the uh, damage output of the assault rifle. But if we look at the uh, firing speeds, it's combining uh, to 4.8 seconds uh, per firing cycle overall, having a huge warm-up, 1.5 seconds slower than the assault rifle, and also debuffing the moving speed of the wielding colonist. This is a top-notch weapon for infestations, big bad native uh, assaults, but not so much for your everyday uh, situation where you just want to hunt some deers or face some raiders out in the open. The minigun is a great weapon, but not for every situation. So the sniper rifle, well, we can go over it quite quickly. The accuracies are crazy, the damage is brutal, the armor penetration too, but the firing speed is just, uh, well, 5.8 seconds per shot. That's nah, just only one bullet. If you missed that, no effect at all. So, range 45, pretty insane too. But charge rifle is worth a deeper look. I I kept that for uh, until the end to keep a certain cl uh, clientele a little bit longer interested. I'm sorry for that. A little tease has to be. Um, the charge rifle offers four points of damage more per bullet. Um, double the armor penetration comparable accuracy, um, comparable attack speed, only a little bit slower than the assault rifle, downside with the range, the perfect weapon against late game threats which are, which are heavily armored, including raiders with marine armors. The charge rifle is a wonderful weapon to have, but you shouldn't rely on it solely. Um, last but not least, the charge lance, whose ranges are, uh, accuracies are really good, but the range is actually shorter than the assault rifle. I'm always pretty surprised uh, to when I when I actively remember it that the assault rifle act actually outranges the charge lens a little bit. The damage is insane. The armor pen armor penetration too. The um, attack speed is pretty good actually. Like if we sum it up, we're only suffering from uh, 4.4 seconds of. Uh, Firing cycle time, which is quite good for a uh, single shot sniperish weapon, but the low range of the charge lance makes it also a uh, good weapon against stuff like centipedes, but also not good at the everyday use. Here we have it: the assault rifle, king of the king of the uh, average comparison. It's just uh, range matters a lot, and the speed here matters a lot. Actually, honestly, I think the speed and the range are the hidden gems on the assault rifle, which are easily being overlooked, but heavily felt while using it. And uh, you're really noticing it once you're swapping down to gear I considered in this FAQ inferior. So 
thanks for your attention if you uh, were, were with me until now. I'm done with this FAQ video. I hope this helped you a little bit uh, about uh, checking out how to compare weapons maybe or why I think the assault rifle is great. Feel free to drop me comments as well. I didn't go into these weapons here. Maybe uh, the bolt action rifle deserves a last uh, mention because for me the bolt action rifle is a very good weapon and uh, a also a hidden gem of the uh, of the game. So um, that's because it's having a brutally high damage, a very high armor penetration, a very good range, very high accuracies. Only downside here uh, is um, it's firing only one shot because the uh, firing speed with 3.3 seconds per shot is really good compared to to the assault rifle with 2.2 second 2.7. 3.3, 2.7, there's really not much uh, difference. The bolt action rifle is a very, very strong weapon whose only downside is having only one bullet. If it would fire more bullets, it would be insane. Okay, so if you're having any more questions or uh, if you're thinking that I'm talking something which wasn't quite true or you thought I forgot something, feel free to add that up into the comments. Uh, one special thanks uh, I want to speak out to the uh, Reddit sub-community of the uh, RimWorld, uh, the subreddit of the RimWorld. They uh, provided me there with all the numbers and informations I uh, prepped up for you. So. Last but not least, big thanks for to the guys who looked all that stuff up to me, for me to make it to make this video. So see you guys next time and goodbye.